We are two guys gaming. Sean, Noob of All Trades from Two Guys Gaming. In this video series, we are playing the Void Spark Chronicles, the daily RPG calendar from Sundial Games that I got myself for Christmas last year. It's been a busy couple of days, so I'm behind, but I'm getting caught up. Today I'm going to do <coughs> today I'm going to do Monday, March 6th, or Moon's Day Cosmica 6. And Tuesday, March 7th, or Truce Day, Cosmica 7. And then tomorrow, I will do the 8th and the 9th to get all caught up. So in the last, in the last episode, we were going through a hideout for the Stitchers, looking for Alex, the pilot's family. And it looks like in this card, it looks like we found them. Sure enough, you find Alex's family trapped inside a prison chamber in the bunker. There are other prisoners you may be able to help. We can either pick the lock, D20 plus dexterity, Force open the lock. Force open the lock, d20 plus strength. Smash the lock, roll damage. And then we can try to help the other prisoners. So we'll, I'll try to pick the lock. My dexterity is the highest, even though, even though in the last episode you heard me swear a bit because my rolls have been so low recently, but I'll try to pick the lock. Hey, 14, nice. <clears throat> 14 plus 16, the lock clicks open. Nice work. Once Alex's family is free, the other prisoners begin crying for help as well. You will have to work quickly if you're going to open more. I gain one virtue point. I think I forgot to mark up my virtue for the last time. And I think I actually owe myself five or six credits as well. So we're going to roll another d20 plus dex. To try to help out the other people. This time we low roll. You free another prisoner from a cell before the guard enters the room and starts shooting at you. Reduce your health by three. Okay, we are, I think that's seven, eight, nine, ten. We are, we are dangerously close here. Should I use a med kit now? I might as well. I'm not going to risk it. So we're going to use a medkit to heal up before tomorrow's adventure. Two, one, three. So we heal for three, so basically nothing happened there. Okay. But we gained a virtue point, so that's good. Okay, it looks like it's good that we healed up, even if only a little bit. You're nearly out of the bunker before another one of the stitchers comes charging at you from the shadows. It enters the light and you finally get a good look at what these monsters at what these monsters look like as it launches an attack at you. Looks like we have four rounds worth of combat. So first is a d20 plus wisdom for some reason. Two. Are you God these fucking rolls? I'll roll all the wisdom checks first. Oh my god, are you kidding me right now? This is ridiculous. These rolls are absurd. Was that 22? At least we're hitting, but who knows? That might not even mean anything. With the wisdom check. Oh, 
hopefully, hopefully the wisdom check doesn't kill us. Hopefully the wisdom checks don't kill us or whatever, because those attack and damage rolls were pretty good, it looks like. If your wisdom roll is less than nine, you are frightened. If frightened, re-roll your attack. Take the new result only if it is smaller than your first attack roll. You know what? I'm not doing that. Hell with that. If you hit and your damage is six or more, the Stitcher is stunned this round. Because otherwise I'm taking two health. And that's absurd. Yeah, because now we're going to take another three because we missed the second round. Because our attack roll should have been 13 or more. All right, well. Okay, so according to this thing, I'm probably dead. But you know what? I'm playing by myself. I'm not cheating anybody but my quote-unquote myself out of this, so I'm not doing this frightened thing. That's nonsense. Because um, I'd end up being frightened three rounds and I'd have to reroll my attack, and this is, no, this is stupid. Um, so I'm not doing the frightened thing. I end up, I defeat the Stitcher. I only count the stun on the second round. Okay, as a concession, I'm just going to take two stunned rounds. That's two. I dealt way more than 15 damage. So I defeated it. I'm not doing the wisdom roll. I'm just going to ignore that completely. So that means that I have 10 extra credits. I defeated the Stitcher. And it flees from battle. As always, thanks for watching. You can find us, if you haven't already, at www.twoguysgaming.net. We have articles. I'm recording a podcast that I have to make up an episode from yesterday. I will do that after I'm done here. I'm reading and reacting to Dragons of Deceit, the new Margaret Weiss and Tracy Hickman book from Dragonlance. I will be back tomorrow to do the 8th and the 9th and catch up the series. And then hopefully back to my daily schedule if I can figure out how to work it into everything else. I will talk to you then. Bye, guys. We are two guys gaming.